35 cc of oil and 30 cc of water. My prediction is that because of the cause of blend with the mint syrup and the soda will cause a strong fizz. And the other my other prediction is uh, maybe the egg yolk will sink and how the other egg liquid will rise. The materials I need in order to complete this experiment are 30 cc of water, um, 45 cc of oil, 2 tablespoons of citrus soda, 1 teaspoon of mint syrup, a measuring spoon, an egg, and a cup. Steps I followed in order to complete this experiment are take a spoon measure and take 30 cc of water then pour it in a cup. The second step is use the spoon measure again and pour 45 cc of oil onto the spoon and then pour it back to the same cup. Did you see when I poured the oil it didn't form a mixture? There's a layer on top of it. So right now the oil is on top of the water. Now the third step is take your egg, crack it, and pour it into the cup. You can throw the shell away because we won't be needing it. And you, and you can see that the egg yolk looks like a ball, unlike when you put on the frying pan. It just sinks down. But now it's the third, it forms a third new layer. And now the second layer is water and the third layer is oil. The fourth step is take your spoon measure, you rinse it because there's oil on it, and then pour uh, two, one tablespoon of mint syrup onto the spoon and then pour it back into the cup. And you can see there's small size, small sized bubble shaped particles on the top and it looks crystallized. And last but not least, take your spoon measure and pour two tablespoons of soda onto your spoon measure and pour it back into the same cup of water. Now you'll see it's fizzing, like it's fizzing on the inside of the cup and not on the top. And there's still left of that round version. Um, my observations were after the experiment, I observed my cup. The first layer was mint syrup, second was the egg, and third was the water, fourth was the oil, and the soda was all over the place, so it blends with all the other substances. Each substance has its own weight, and the intense of the course of the cor the mint syrup is the most intense. Intense meaning like a little bit of concentration, like how heavy it is on the inside. The mint syrup is also a mixture. That means it's a concentration because. Uh, in order to make mint syrup, you only need mint, water, and sugar, and other substances. The mint syrup is also the most concentrated, which also means the heaviest, without concentration. The lightest was the oil. It's so light. Oil is so light that it's even lighter than water. What I call this a chemical reaction? Maybe, maybe not. If it's, then it's a fizz. Then it's because of the fizz, and this would be a gas chemical reaction because of the fizz. Only the fizz because there's no There's a little bit of bubbles coming out from the top, but th that's all. I think it's between oil, soda, and the other egg parts beside the yolk. So it's not including the yolk to cause the crystallize at the top and the bubble. And this is a graph I made of how much intense each substance are. So the highest intense is the mint, the lowest intense is the oil, and the second lowest intense is the soda, and the third intense is the water, and the second of heaviest intense is the egg. And I had some mistakes in this project experiment. When I was filling the mint syrup on the spoon, I accidentally I was doing it on top of a cup so it won't spill on the table, but then I put too much and some extra one fell on the inside the cup, so it's an inaccurate amount of syrup I put in. And when I was cracking the egg, some egg liquid fell on the table. And when I put it in the freezer to preserve it, the next thing, the next morning, I see it's a mixture. It becomes a mixture. And this is what I wanted to show you. You can try this experiment at home. If you want to preserve it, you can put it in the freezer. And when oil is frozen, it becomes jelly. So on the inside, you can feel it. It feels like jelly. And the egg yolk is in 
inside the jelly, which is something really special, and now it formed a mixture, but then there's this particle of, of mint, leaf, and stuff inside, and it's it. jelly and stuff. Okay, any questions? Um, you were talking about the concentrations, but the more concentrated ones are heavier. Have you thought, have you ever thought about density? Have you heard that word before? Uh, not exactly, so, but intense. In, intense, so I think you, when you say intense, I think it's the same thing as density. The more dense ones, the ones with the particles closer together, are heavier, so they sink to the bottom. And then the ones the, with the particles that are less dense, that are farther apart, rise to the top. So you're thinking of concentration, too. There's more solid dissolved, and there's more, less liquid, and more solid dissolved on the bottom, and less solid dissolved on the top. That's excellent. Did that, oh, when you said soda, any soda is fine, right? Any soda, like um, Sprite, or 7-Up, or Citrus Soda, like, you know, Fanta with orange, you can also try, but Coke can, or Coke can. Any more questions? Neil, where did you get this idea? Thank you.